Hey there, Nate Parents. One of the important things we talk about all the time in the office is how to know when it's the right time to utilize boost adjustments for your kids, yourself, or the whole dang family. One thing we all know for sure is this. Stress, illness, growth spurts, and busy seasons are all a part of regular life for all of us. But that does not mean that we can't consistently live a strong, healthy, resilient, happy life as a full family. And if you're already part of our wellness practice, then you know that your regular chiropractic adjustments are an essential part of doing just that. Boost adjustments are designed to add in extra support for those extra busy and stressful seasons of life when teething and growth spurts kick in or when you're trying to fight off that annoying cough, cold, and congestion and need a little extra help from your family chiro. This video is made specifically for our existing patients who are already experiencing the incredible benefits of regular care, but may not know exactly when to hit the app or give us a call and schedule a boost adjustment. <clears throat> In this video, we'll break down the top 10 most common reasons or times to get a boost adjustment and give a quick reason and explanation for why, along with reviewing the simple steps we've got in place to make sure you can get in quickly and easily for those important boost adjustments when you or your, you or your family need them most. Did you know that children experience an average of six to eight colds per year? Or that kids grow about two inches and gain about six pounds annually? These are just a couple of examples the constant changes and challenges of our children's bodies face. As parents, we often feel powerless in the face of these inevitable hurdles. But what if there was a way to help our kids navigate these challenges more smoothly? <clears throat> That's where boost adjustments come in. Providing extra support when your child's body needs it most. Here are my top 10 reasons to get a boost adjustment. Number one, immune challenges. When your child is fighting off a cold or infection, boost adjustments can optimize their neuroimmune system, helping them recover faster. Number two, growth spurts. These rapid periods of growth can stress the neurospinal system. Boost adjustments help the body adapt more smoothly to these changes. Number three, teething. This process can disrupt the nervous system affecting sleep and mood. Extra adjustments can help balance the system during this time. Number four, injuries and falls. Kids are active and accidents happen. Boost adjustments can aid in recovery and prevent long-term issues. Number five, seasonal changes. Weather shifts can throw off the nervous system, especially in sensitive kids. Proactive adjustments can help maintain balance. Number six, busy school seasons. The stress of school, sports, and activities can overwhelm the nervous system. Regular boost adjustments can improve resilience. Number seven, work stress for adults. Yes, boost adjustments are great for parents too. They can help you perform better at work and maintain work-life balance. Number eight, big life changes. Major life events can cause emotional stress. Boost adjustments help regulate the nervous system during these times. Nine, Medical interventions. If your child needs medication or vaccinations, boost adjustments can help minimize side effects and support overall health. And number 10, starting new therapies. When beginning new treatments or protocols, boost adjustments can help the body integrate these changes more effectively. Each of these situations and scenarios is likely to cause extra stress to build up on the nervous system, throwing the health and quality of life off track. For patients who are already under care, so often all they need to get back on track fast is to sneak in for a boost adjustment or two and get right back on track. By getting additional adjustments to help quickly optimize nervous system function, we're not just treating symptoms, we're enhancing the body's ability to heal and regulate itself. This in turn, builds resilience and adaptability, whereas medications look to stuff down symptoms, do the job for the body, and end up leaving the body weaker and more dysregulated down the road instead of stronger and more resilient. If you've never scheduled a boost adjustment before, here are the multiple ways you can make it happen the next time you need it. So you can give us a call, use your SCED app, 
hit us up on the website, text the office, shoot us a DM. We are here for you. Give us a shout.